It's in the eye of the beholder, right? Everybody has their own opinion of what's beautiful. Some people, it's the exterior, uh, I don't know, the cosmetic uh, beauty, and then there's also uh, the in interior beauty, right? I inherited a nickname, Zombie, because of, of this uh, brain operation. And with this nickname, it kind of really was a big part of my life. And with this name, I just got tattooed with it. It's something that kids do, you know. When you got when you got a nickname, you kind of roll with it. When I was uh, about 21, I started getting recognition for my extreme tattoo. Um, there was different uh, magazines that were doing the coverage of, of the transformation. So my friends do the same. Everybody's getting tattooed and crazy piercings and all this. It's nothing out of the normal back at home, right? Since I was a kid, I was very involved in uh, punk rock culture, which there's a lot of piercing and, uh, you know, DIY, like, uh, Fashion, you wear, you make your own clothes, you style your own jackets, you style your own hair, you tattoos, all, like there's lots of art in it, you know. There's the whole graffiti culture and the music and, um, you know, and homemade films and all this stuff all worked into one, right? And uh, I guess uh, Bodysuit Project is, is in those lines. <laughs> J'avais des tatouages un peu ses bras. Euh, je ne sais pas qu ce qu'il y avait ses jambes. Puis il y en avait ses mains qui n'étaient pas finies. Puis moi, j'ai fini les mains. Ça, c'est le premier tatou que j'ai fait. Puis après ça, il m'a demandé de faire le, le visage. Puis euh, j'ai dit non. Il est allé ailleurs. Il s'est fait tatouer les yeux puis le nez. Puis il est revenu trois semaines plus tard pour que j'y arrange. Je ne voulais pas le tatouer au, au début d'un visage parce que je pensais qu'il n'était pas le regretter son, son choix puis tout ça. Mais lui était déterminé, il avait une idée dans la tête, puis il est parti avec, puis sa carrière est partie avec aussi. <rire> il est assez remarquable, je savais qu'il était pogné l'attention quelque part à un moment donné. T'sais. I've been doing sideshow with different troops uh, for over three years, three and a half years now. Lucifer's Blasphemous, we started, uh, we started going over the concept around last November, we did a show. Guy, Lucifer's Blasphemous Mad Macabre Torture Carnival, featuring sadistic freaks, sickening sights, and horrible abominations. I perform myself as a zombie that comes up from the dead and starts munching on people. My good friends, the Executioner and Dr. Cuts, uh, the three of us, uh, this trio of death, have put our brains together and kind of wrote a script for the show. Making people scream and laugh and freak out and, and just get the great crowd reactions, for sure. Said, hey, we could totally, you know, exploit this. We we have it like just, we sold out the show, and then New Year's it was over, well over four or five hundred people that showed up, and we thought, okay, it's time, you guys, that we get serious. 
and we put a name on it and we got our, our solid players down. Like we have a real team built. So we're, we're working pretty hard on it.